LifeGate Paul Ministries, a moment of worship, experience the miraculous touch from God, undiluted word of God, heartfelt effectual prayer, experience undeniable miracles, Deliverance. Life Gate Power Ministries. It all belongs to you. In you I Dominion Cathedral, 90 Stadium Road, Rumomasi, Port Harcourt. Worship with us on Sundays. First service, 7.30 a.m. And second service, 9 a.m. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Power night, every first Friday of the month. Prayers and counseling call 070-6381-3013 or 08023-221086. Facebook, Life Gate Power Ministries, Twitter, Sunny Cookie and YouTube, Hour of Dominion. Website, www.lgpminc.org. Ministering, Pastor Sunny Cookie. The word koinonia is a Greek word for communion, fellowship. It's actually a Greek word that represents about five things. The English language can't handle it so. In the English language it could be said to be the fellowship of the Holy Spirit or the communion of the Holy Spirit. But both the communion and the Holy Spirit are in the word koinonia. What is the koinonia of the Holy Spirit? It means sharing in common. It means to fellowship. It means fellowship, association, community, communion, joint partnership, contribution, intercourse. So God is calling us unto the fellowship association community communion joint partnership contribution and intercourse with the holy spirit our governing text is taken from second corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14 the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the koinonia of the Holy Spirit. That's what it means. The New Testament was written from Greek. was translated from Greek. So the Greek translation, I mean Greek root, the word, the, this, the root word in Greek is koinonia. And the commun communion of the Holy Spirit. So this is how far English language could interpret it. But the Greek word koinonia is deeper than the word communion. So if you to read it from the original text where it was translated from by the authority of King James into the uh, English language, he will read it this way, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the koinonia of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Jesus told us that it is very, very vital, important for us that he leaves the earth physically. That it will be beneficial to us because as he was on earth he was confined to one place only ministering to few people that were around him but he said when i leave i will send the comforter in john chapter 14 verse 26 we see the the properties of this comforter he said it will be said but the comforter which is the holy spirit Another word for comforter means the helper, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I have said unto you. How is he going to teach you all things? It is by you having fellowship with him. The Holy Spirit is a divine person that has all attributes of a person. Every person needs relationship, needs fellowship. 
you live with someone i believe this morning as you woke up you greeted that person if not you know communication can break down we need the fellowship the association the community the communion the joint partnership contribution and intercourse with the holy ghost to make the most of life to make the most of life what are the benefits of fellowship and communion with the holy ghost it infuses divine strength into you it infuses divine strength into you with which you can handle challenges of life what is the the benefit of communion of the holy spirit it infuses divine strength they go from strength to strength every one of them that appear in Zion. you know so when you fellowship with the holy spirit he infuses his strength that's number one thing he does for you it infuses his strength into you he infuses his strength you fellowship with him as you wake up in the morning with thanksgiving greeting him good morning dear holy spirit thank you for protecting me and my family all through the night blessed holy spirit i welcome you this morning to help me offer acceptable thanksgiving praise and worship and to pray the right way and to secure speedy manifestations of answer to my prayers dear holy spirit i welcome you to be my senior partner so we're in joint partnership and that joint partnership is the principal partner the holy ghost is the principal partner in this relationship you must recognize him so he infuses strength two he teaches one of the primary function of the holy spirit in our life is to teach us when is to teach us he said he shall teach you all things and bring to remembrance everything that i've taught you that's what he does he teaches so you can't read the bible in isolation of the holy ghost you won't get anything for instance in the first place is the author of the bible dear holy spirit can you fellowship with me can we read the bible together would you open my right my eyes to behold wondrous things out of your word? you are the author of the bible now you're quoting some 119 verse verse 18 open my eyes to behold wondrous things out of your world you commune with him you fellowship with him the holy spirit is not someone that is just there for you to use to end your prayer and say you know once in a while you talk to him no he's there constantly to fellowship with you you're a businessman you're a businesswoman bring him into partnership ask him question this man this woman am i supposed to do business with him with her this line of business is it what you have come out for me this journey now should i travel or not travel holy spirit give me wisdom now they know how to hear him you switch into praying in tongues holy spirit i'm waiting i'm listening he will speak to you from your spirit not from your head he will speak to you from where your spirit not from your head many people are stranded in life because they are only getting information and assistance from their head no the holy spirit is a spirit he can only relate with you and he can only relate with him via your own spirit and the bible said he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto man but unto god he speaketh mystery no one understanding what he says when you're speaking in an unknown tongue your understanding your mind is unfruitful your mind is suspended it is your spirit now communi communing with god so if you are not giving to praying in tongues you are limiting yourselves that is the truth now he said you won't understand what you're saying the same holy ghost interpret it no man understanded him how be it in the spirit he speaketh mysteries and without these mysteries being released and decoded you are limited as a businessman you are limited as a businesswoman you are limited he told me what to preach today holy spirit what are you saying what do i say 
then this portion of the bible i just shared now second corinthians chapter 13 verse 14 flash in my spirit i got it i said okay what do i do now fellowship with the holy spirit he told me what to preach this is not what i would have preached i would have preached something I tell you about prayer you know this morning dew. you know if you pray god will answer you plus one plus one you know, that, you know, that, you know when you fellowship with he's with you he's there he will tell her to relate with your husband he will tell her to relate with your wife he will tell her to relate with your children no matter how difficult that situation is ask holy spirit question number three he will infuse into you wisdom is the spirit of wisdom there's a bogging situation in your before you holy spirit give me wisdom to handle this situation holy spirit and waiting Marco and then a thought will come within him spontaneous thought and then he will flash scriptures that's why it's good to study the word because the data the store house of your of your data determines how holy spirit will lead you and give you wisdom he will draw from what you have already put you know put in your in your spirit the word of god most of the times other times he can give you direction you know outside the bible that is also in agreement with the bible very vital you want to make the most of your christian life you want to enjoy life as a christian you must commit to fellowshipping with the holy spirit you must commit to fellowship with him you must have a quiet time there is nothing he cannot handle for you what else will he do finally because of time he would give you direction he will give you direction in any issue of your life in john chapter 16 verse 13 he said when he the spirit of truth is come do you see that is the spirit of truth when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide him to all truth for he shall not speak of himself but what he hears what he hears from the father he will not minister to you for what he hears shall he say for he will not speak of himself but what he hears and he will show you things to come he will show you things to come he will show you things to come how be it when the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth concerning how to handle that situation that bugging challenges for he shall not speak of himself but whatever he hears he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come holy spirit i'm committed to your teaching today i'm committed to your fellowship today i'm committed to your communion joint partnership today help me if there is nothing holy ghost does not know is it about your job there is nothing are you a medical doctor an engineer a lawyer businessman what is it is is all knowing he will give you insights how to win your case how to how to handle that challenge how to handle that problem he will but christians have been you know flawed frustrated defeated stagnated because they neglect this person he he's not there decorating your spirit holy spirit is inside your spirit and my spirit for business it's not there decorating your spirit i have holy spirit inside me for what is it for sure come in with the holy spirit use this opportunity and renew your relationship with him renew your relationship with him there is nothing he can handle for you is it that sickness that i've been long no just what he will tell you now my daughter my son do this you do it you now commit him now up to you you want to lie down you want to stand up you want to kneel down you want to sit down but don't sleep you want to come to the altar anywhere and all over the world where you are watching this program from commit to this seven minutes 
personal supplication prayer section and renew your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Renew your fellowship with the Holy Spirit and commit to maintaining that relationship. I want you daily to confess these scriptures. Now say thank you Father for the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the love of God the Father. For the communion of the Holy Spirit. Or you can use the word the Bible, the King James said, the communion of the Holy Spirit being my daily experience. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be my daily experience. Be my daily experience from today. Thank you, Father. I give you praise and glory in the name of Jesus. Please don't forget, time to time during the day, be conscious of him. Is that clear? Just use relationship of a woman and a man. The woman wants the man to be always conscious of him. Be conscious of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you can tell him, Holy Spirit, good afternoon. I love you, Holy Spirit. I worship you, Holy Spirit. Is there anything you want to tell me? I'm ready to obey. I'm ready to follow your instruction. Your life will be very sweet. Your life will be full of victory. Lift your hands now and thank him. Bless be his name. In the mighty name of Jesus. This week and after, I release upon you the daily experiences of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the Father and the communion even the koinonia of the Holy Spirit to be your daily experience to be your daily experience and as you do begin to fly begin to change levels begin to prosper begin to make it all around begin to profile solution for any naughty challenge problems in your office in your career in your business in your relationships in jesus name amen thank you for watching this broadcast you can watch our live service at lgpminc.org like us on facebook at facebook.com slash lifegate power ministries follow us on twitter at twitter.com slash sony cookie you can subscribe to our youtube channel at hour of dominion get a copy of pastor sony cookies books and cds at www.lgpminc.org for inquiries, call these numbers 0706381313 or call 0802322 or call 0805201359 God bless you